Hi everyone, in this video I'll break down the process of creating this spooky 3D scene using AI tools and Cinema 4D. I only had one day to create this project, so optimizing the scene and taking some shortcuts along the way was really helpful. Let's get started. In this project, I wanted to make a transition between real life and a dark, red, creepy looking room. I didn't have any inspiration or reference for the look I was going for. So I used Runway AI to transform the room into something that I had in my head. A dark, red, mysterious room with Stranger Things vibes. It doesn't look right, it looks AI generated. But we can still use it as perfect reference for our 3D scene. I wanted an X-ray skeleton doing the exact same movement as I did. To speed up the process, I rotoscoped the footage and placed a green background behind it. A good little trick I used is importing this to Runway AI and tell it to make an X-ray of human movement. There we go. Without the use of character rigging, we have a small sequence which we can use for this animation. It's a bit buggy because I had a cap on and some clothes, but for this small shot, it worked really great in my opinion. Now let's head over to Cinema 4D and recreate the room in 3D. The first thing I did was matching the perspective of the real camera. I did this by using a camera calibrator tag. This way you match the perspective and everything looks like it should be when you are 3D modeling. After this step, I 3D modeled the walls and the door frame. I wanted the walls to peel off the paint so you have the brick wall behind it. This was a bit of a pain for me because I never did cloud simulations or anything like that in Cinema 4D, but it was a good way to learn at least. First, I had a simple cloud simulation for the whole room, but to create some movement, I added forces to the cloud like wind and turbulence. For the cloud to stick and rip off the wall, I selected various points into the mesh so it sticks to the walls. Then, after playing around with the cloud tearing options, and many different settings, I finally had something that looks okay. Aside from some weird glitches in the sim, yeah, I know, it looks bad. Then I made these creepy veins on the floor. This was pretty simple, drawing multiple splines on the floor, transforming it into a 3D mesh. Then clone it to randomize the orientation. Let's make it come to life with lighting and texturing and redshift. For some textures, I used noise to create these blood splatters on the walls. Other than that, I pretty much only used materials in the Redshift library. Now for the lighting, I didn't go too crazy. The only thing I did is a red light at the door, along with the background of the AI image. This image was only to cast reflections on the door. Let's import our skeleton animation as well, only to add the light on the floor. Then I placed a bluish light on the ceiling. Finally, we make the scene foggy with redshift volume. Hopefully all of this makes sense because a lot of it is just about small details to make it more convincing. There was almost no time for rendering, so I optimized the scene just enough so the quality is acceptable. Then exported all of it in AOV layers, just so I have more control in After Effects. 100 frames and 20 coffees later, we finally have our exported scene for compositing. In After Effects, we can add all the final touches. I didn't go too crazy, I just added some lens effects, color corrections and smoke. With some sound effects and editing, this is the final result. And that's a wrap on creating an eerie, scary looking Halloween scene using AI tools and Cinema 4D. I hope you enjoyed watching this breakdown and maybe picked up a few tips for your own VFX project. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more VFX content. See you in the next one.